What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was a random week matchup versus Fortis LTU. Uh, we've never matched these guys. They are a fair play clan. They're in the CWL as far as I know. Um, this Lithuanian clan. Um, never had the pleasure to match these folks up. So it was kind of a nice uh, weekday matchup. 108 to 102. 2.0 squeaks out a victory there. Um, really nice job overall by the 2.0 team. Uh, Fortis LTU did a pretty good job. They did have a Town Hall 10 not make two attacks, so that obviously hurts a little bit. Um, you know, did their diligence, got the 11s cleaned up. Not a lot of action on the 10s. Only one star on Zerds there, so that's got to hurt a little bit. You know, I think only ended up getting the one successful bully. Oh, it was you bear too. So they did have a couple, uh, couple bullies, but just not a lot of success up top. Did have to use handful of bullies as well to clean up the nines. So it ended up kind of ultimately being their demise. <clears throat> 2.0, uh, did oh, had a pretty decent war. We got the 11s cleared up by mostly of our 10s had to use Maverick on one of those bases. Um, even though we didn't use more than I believe, uh, two attacks, Per base all the way down, down to number seven there yeah so good job on the 11s our guys have really uh really got you know those two star two star strats versus the town hall 11s down so that's very very helpful especially with the state of town hall at the end these days if you can't do that you're in big trouble <laughs> you're in for a bad time uh this base number eight did give us a little bit of struggles i think we used four hits and still didn't even get it with a with a dip fail there had a few dip fails all together um even had, I think, a dip fail at the Town Hall 9 level, which is very unfortunate. I think we ended up using, because of the fail, at least I think it was this war. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was this war. We, uh, because of that, we had to use three three bullies on the 9, so that obviously is very uncharacteristic. Tough day for our 9s overall. Um, did have a few six-pack champs, a lot of really nice attacks. I'm just going to hop right in and start showing some replays here. Let's go right down to the bottom. Da -da -da, number 38, SB Sports Buff. Are you buff to all sports? Sports? That's my question to you. Or are there any sports you omit? If you give yourself the title of Sports Buff, that means every sport. You, if I ask you a question, you should know the answer. <laughs> anyway, sports going in here, picking on sort of this uh, underdeveloped town all mine. Bring in, deciding to bring six dragons. I think dragons are always a very um, great choice when, especially when you're going up against newer town hall mines. Um, you know, these point defense takes so long to take down a dragon. So really all you got to worry about is the air defense and maybe the black mines. May, um, and that's really it because the dragons will take care of the clan castle if you need to. Dragons will take care of the queen if you need to. Very, very little room for air. And uh, against these sort of town hall eight point defenses, these level level four drags really, really do work. So you can see this huge clump of drags now going to go in. Queen's basically created the funnel to let the drags just slice through the middle of this base. If you look to in the, in the base... This clan castle is the only high hit point structure. I always talk about this, guys. Way too many high hit point structures here on the outside of the base. Not really doing a heck of a lot. I mean, if you want to go into this queen chamber with some sort of queen walk, yeah, there's a lot of crap for her to go through. But if you can get things in from the opposite side of the base, uh, there is not a lot of meat for it to get through. As you can see, these drags under rage are absolutely shredding this base. I love this dragon. <laughs> Look at him go. It's like, come here, hound. Get over here. Get over here. All right, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. I took a little bit of pleasure in, uh, in just seeing that drag. Then all the drags turn around. He's like, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> so they do get held up on this hound. It's kind of a scary moment. I bet time is a little bit of a factor. Again, once again, uh, I'm cl my classic, I don't check the time on the replays until I realize that it probably was a very close raid uh, with this builder's hut sitting out in the corner there. But Queen runs on over. Going to be a tree for sports buff. Nice job, buddy. I'm actually going to check that real quick. Two minutes. Not even close. Wiser is wrong. Sports is absolutely smashed. I don't think you lost any dragons that rate. Uh, okay, let's go. JP, six-pack champ here in this warp. Uh, bringing this, uh, I've seen Patino actually practicing this. A lot of our guys are really, really enjoying this strat. Using the stone, um, stone bolo. Basically, 
you're getting an insane push with these three golems into the base. You're going to see how far JP's kill squad goes. It goes from this two o'clock section and ends up in the queen chamber getting basically every air defense along the way. Uh, doesn't even really need to bring any uh, lava hounds because of this fact. Uh, but obviously you're not 100% sure that literally your, your army is going to just go from one side of the base to the other, only leaving a handful of defenses. <clears throat> so jump spell goes down, golems end up getting in through that wall. Tesla farm goes down, king is now in, bowlers are going in behind. Queen's doing work as well. Setting those bombs up before their bowlers get there. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> so, get pretty good value here. Poison's going to go down, take care of these clan castle troops. Queen's going to step up and help out here in one moment as well. <clears throat> down goes that baby drag. King gets in there right to that queen chamber. As you can see, he's already, everything's already way over this queen chamber. That fourth air defense is down now. Still has a dozen balloons. And this Lava Hound, it's just unbelievable. Doesn't even need the Lava Hound. Probably could have just two, you know, bring out an extra six balloons and just two, uh, you know, drop two balloons on every defense on the outside here. And it would have been GG. Um, still is GG nonetheless. Kind of nice. He does get that Hound in there doing a little bit of tanking on that Tesla. But there, really, there's just no point taking it. There's barely any defenses for these balloons to clean up. Still has four balloons for his cleanup crew. Just crushed it. Nice job, JP. Uh, 34. Robin Boy. <clears throat> um, so Rob bringing the opposite. Bringing three hounds here. Only bringing this cold-blooded entry. Uh, recognizes this air defense right next to the queen chamber. So the idea is just going to get uh, king, queen, bowlers, uh, one golem in here. Jump on over that clan castle. Or jump on over that queen chamber while pulling out that clan castle. Valk locks onto the, the golem, so that's absolutely perfect. Take care of that Valk nice and quickly. Now, what I don't think Rob was expecting was you're going to kind of see, and zoom in just a little bit here. You're going to see kind of his queen get held up here. Queen takes out a defensive queen. Gets stuck up on this storage, gets stuck up on this storage, has to end up burning the ability. I don't. I think he thought his kill squad was going to get a, at least a little bit better of a push into this queen chamber. Uh, his queen doesn't even end up making the jump, I don't believe, in time. Has to hit that ability to finally take care of that baby drag, but it goes down. So, I mean, really their job is done, even though I think he was expecting a little bit more out of his kill squad. Uh, Max Hound takes a couple black mines to the face. That is perfect. Get it low health right away. You want those those pups out there doing work ASAP. While you got another hound in there doing tanking, he's got two more hounds he's got for these other two air defense. You know this hound only has uh, about fifty percent hit points. So haste go down. Just pushing those balloons to all the right spots. Really just want to continue this sort of counterclockwise rotation now around the core, up and uh, up and around the three o'clock sort of section. Does have these Teslas, this arch tower, this whole area he's got to worry about, uh, but still has a hound. It was interesting the angle he dropped the hound here from, um, from way back here. I probably would have just dropped it right up here, did immediate tanking for this stuff, but whatever. Uh, absolutely crushed it here, Rob. Hound's in there now doing tanking on those Teslas. That's why I'm not a fan necessarily of the Teslas right beside your air defense. You kind of want to have them outside so they start targeting balloons as soon as the Hound gets out of range. So then those balloons get right down on top way, way too quickly. Hound bursts at the exact perfect moment right as that Tesla goes down. Cannon is the last defense remaining. There's pups all over the base to him clean up. Robbie absolutely smashes it. Nice job, my friend. All right. So I thought this was uh, the next couple of attacks I'm going to show. Um, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> was uh, kind of interesting. They ran the same base on number 30 and number 26. We happened to notice this um, early on in the war before either base had been hit. And I saw the announcement saying that the two bases were the same. Um, I claimed pretty early on in the war. I didn't realize that Derp had already hit 30 and 3 started it. I thought they were both still on hit. I didn't even check for some reason. I did know, in fact, that they were the same base, but I thought I was the first one to claim it. So I ended up planning. So I'm going to show both of our hits. I'm going to show Derp's hit first, how he ends up taking care of this base. Derp ops for the air. See, I probably wouldn't have, even if I had watched this uh, replay ahead of time, which I didn't. I definitely didn't because <laughs> I didn't think it was hit. <laughs> um, 
But even if I had, I don't know if I could have replicated this attack. Um, I would definitely wouldn't have been comfortable replicating this attack. Um, but Dirk goes ahead, goes right in at this queen chamber. Poison goes down, gets that rage spell down, takes care of that defensive queen nice and quickly. <clears throat> She's going to end up walking down now towards the 9 o'clock area. <clears throat> She's going to step in and take care of this air defense. At the same time, she's got a while to go because she's going to have to work through this Lava Hound as it comes out of the CC. So he goes ahead, starts just getting a few random archers down, just taking out buildings, all the buildings on the outside that are undef uh, you know, undefended, right? Getting uh, getting a, probably four or five buildings with a handful of archers. That's great value there. <clears throat> Second Rage goes down, really needs this queen to get through this uh, Lava Hound. Did he only drop three of his healers? I think I just noticed that right now. Maybe he... There's no way he brought a fifth either. <laughs> but so I think he forgot what it was either. I did that in a raid actually. It ended up costing me. <laughs> Dirk uh, recognized it in time. Down goes that air defense. So that's the most important thing here. Defensive queen is dead. CC is dead. And an air defense is dead. So uh, still hasn't even touched his king. Hasn't touched anything. Starts going in with his air attack here. Gets two hounds in on this three o'clock air defense. Hay spells go down. He's fighting that sweeper there, but it's just not enough. Air defense number two goes down, gets that max hound in now on this next air defense, starts sprinkling balloons two in per defense on the outside. So he's got this clump of balloons moving in through the core. He's got a few more sort of reinforcing in from the outside. Everything's going to converge on this air defense now. Nice little rage spell there. Boom, boom. Air defense number three goes down. Just got to work in over top of this Tesla farm. Still has two hounds there on burst. Finally, one does burst. Has his king in there now doing work. Queen's in there. Air defense number four is down. Got balloons in on top of these defenses. Just smashing it up. Down goes the expo. Down goes the Tesla. There are no defenses to go on this base other than this wizard tower. And there are far too many pups, far too many balloons. His heroes are still going at it. So absolutely smashed it. Derp, really nice job. Maybe I could have replicated this, but like I said, I'm not 100% comfortable with my air attacks right now. So I don't know if I would have liked to, but let's go ahead and check it out. Of course, I velar it. Mainly I velar it because when I see a base that is like, like this, right? You know, Derp recognized it, recognized he could get the queen, the CC, and this air defense out of a short little walk. Right, right there. So that's really good value out of, out of that. Um, for me, when I see these exposed air defense, I feel like it makes Veeler so powerful because you know whichever way your bowlers or queen uh, go around the base, they're going to have access to the air defense, right? So when they get to them, they're going to destroy the air defense and their healers, keeping them going, are going to be perfectly safe because they're going to attack the air defense when they get to it when you see those bases with those um, unreachable air defense that's when i'm like yeah you have to be very picky and choosy because you you can only walk around certain sections of the base and be safe so uh, my idea here is i'm going to go ahead and drop my queen at nine o'clock take care of this little troll tesla very quickly <clears throat> and just want to walk the queen down into this section Basically take out the defensive king, uh, drop the baby D to help her along, take out these defenses along the way. That expo is targetable. So I kind of wanted her to get into here and, and target this expo basically. And then I was going to draw up my bowlers now from basically around, I think around here at six. And I wanted them just to just walk up because other than this expo there, I didn't see a lot of threat on the outside. Uh, they were good. The bowlers were, like I said, we're going to take care of this air defense on their way. So the healers were going to be safe. They were basically going to be able to walk all the way up and around and even get that air defense potentially if they got there. Um, although they don't quite do exactly what I wanted. They clear the funnel on this side and end up end up joining. So finally that hound bursts. So I say, okay, let's go ahead. I get the wizard down. I'm going to go ahead and drop my 11 Valks now and my king, basically using all these buildings now as my funnel and I did I absolutely wanted the Valks to end up at this gold storage and go right in at this wizard tower and that's basically exactly what happens so I do end up moving the queen along everything going in just fine and dandy all that stuff goes down very very quickly my Valks take a little bit of a split here so a bit of a bit of a um, difference in the, my planning but very very small heal spell down right over top of that tesla farm so getting great value on these valks now just letting them do their thing work through that wall they're going to smash these teslas be perfectly fine under the heel there 
Plus, the healers are not locked on, right? So this whole death ball of units that's in the core is going to get insane value with the healers. You know, you get that raid spell down, bust through that wall ASAP. Everything moves right over that queen. Second heals down, poison goes down over the queen. Just everything just zigzags perfectly through this base, exactly how I envisioned it. Wanted to go in here, go up, up up to the queen see you later my bowlers you know even this bowler does his diligence i drop a ways to help him out but that, that was the idea it was the bowlers were going to walk around out here everything was going to go through the core as it just did and all meet up at 12 o'clock and finish the base off and as you can see tree stars imminent bam 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 that's how you three star base two different ways whoops I think my war generals were a little peeved that I did not copy the first three-star plan. So, <laughs> Robbie and uh, Oakham, sorry. <laughs> I should have looked, but I didn't. But I came in with the three, so. <laughs> it was all for all for content, all for content. Okay, so I got one more town online. I did want to give Leo his diligence. He received some fairly unfortunate news. He's got some family emergency life stuff that he's uh, that he's going to be dealing with over for the next while. He's not sure um, how things are going to pan out. So, um, you know, our best wishes and our prayers go to oh to you, Leo. Uh, you know, you will be missed, my friend. Hopefully, uh, hopefully things work out for the best for you, and uh, and we can get you back in the hive uh, up and running as uh, as soon as you can. And if not, it's been a pleasure, my friend, um, seeing these sexy attacks from you like this. Although I just noticed now you did have that wall break fail, <laughs> which I didn't realize for the first time I watched this. So jump spell is going to go down. You did bring two jumps, so almost didn't really need the um, the wall breakers. But look at this king. King finally hits that ability, but just barely going to make that defensive queen. Like, barely. Finally, she goes down, right? This queen sort of decides to go shopping on the uh, 12 o'clock section here. But there's no defenses really. He's got the two hounds. Um, got three air defenses still on his entry there with using the bowlers. So that's great value there. Goes ahead and drops his hound, drops his loons to help out that queen. Hits that queen ability. Those Teslas go down very, very quickly. Goes ahead and gets that second hound in. A few more balloons instantly behind it with that haste spell. Going to throw everything in. There's only one place for all of these balloons to meet up, and it's right on this air defense. They just got to work through those defenses as soon as they can here. Nice little haste spell. Expo down. Wizard Tower on this far side is the basically the only threat whatsoever. See this little hound out here. A lot of hounds in the CC for this one. They are a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I'm definitely a fan of a few hounds in there just so it's more of an unexpected thing on the on the fresh hits because you see so many baby drag combos. But we ran into a hell of a lot of hounds and they they can be a bitch. Like right, right now, look at all these pups held up on this stupid hound. Which is about to burst if you didn't have those loons over there. Could have been trouble, but it wasn't. Tree in the bag for Leo. Like I said, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Good luck. Um, all right. One more. Harlequin. Very, very sexy air attack here. A little bit of a just shattered bolo. Goes ahead and gets the golems down nice and quick. Gets that funnel created. Queen down, start doing work on the inner compartments here. Jump spell is going to let these golems on in. It's going to take care of that stupid archer tower. As soon as it goes down, this other golem ends up routing down and through the jump. There it goes. <clears throat> up comes a clan castle, getting that poison down. There it goes. Right? right. Those Valks just shred that king up there for a second. His health went from full to like almost none instantly. But he hits that ability, gets those barbs going. She hits that queen ability, takes down the defensive queen, gets a couple Teslas in the process. Down goes a wizard tower. And we got three Lava Hounds and 14 Balloons now to work with three Air Defense. That is a little bit scary at this point. Um, I'm sure Jamie was not feeling 100% on that entry. But this Air Defense, right, very, very easy to get to. Just straight pathing. One, two, three, straight to the Air Defense. Sorry, I guess four, that Mortar there. And then they actually go to the Wizard Tower. So disregard what exactly what I said. It looked like easy pathing, but it doesn't matter. Everything's now right on top of over this air defense. Down goes that Inferno Tower. That's the most important thing. Down goes that uh, down goes that air defense. 
So now they're over on air defense number three, and it goes down very quickly. They like air defense, Inferno Tower, air defense went down within seconds. That's really the key, key moment of this raid because the fact that those went down so quickly, got the balloons now working their way to this number four air defense, and they are about to be on top of it. That hound is about to burst. Perfect timing on that because down goes the air defense, buying these balloons a little bit more time, working through the archer tower. Grounded Expo is just like, oh shit, here we go. There's only an Arch Tower and there's like 20 balloons. Down goes the Arch Tower. Down goes the remaining defenses. Got pups all over. Little mini helping out too. Beautiful. Jamie. Coming away with the sexy 10v10. Damn. Job, girl. Sure that felt great. <clears throat> so, uh, overall, good war. Thank you, Fortis LTU. It was a pleasure. Uh, hopefully, we match you guys up soon. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure in the CWL. It doesn't say it here. Maybe I'm crazy. I know. I don't know. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth, but, uh, you know, 348 wins, level 12 clan. These guys know what they're doing. So go ahead, check them out, especially if you're from the Lithuania area. Hopefully your, uh, hopefully your clan information is correct because I feel kind of silly if you weren't actually from Lithuania and I just got trolled. But um, I'm assuming LT, that means Lithuania. So, uh, guys, go ahead and check them out. Um, 2.0, fantastic job, guys. Uh, always a pleasure. Uh, crazy random week. We went from a random matchup of War Whales to our CWL matchup on the weekend to a random matchup against Fortis LTU. And we just matched. Battle date starts tonight. The one and only Golden Goblins. That is a clan first for 2.0. So uh, hopefully that will be an amazing war. That's a little bit of a preview. I think of like week five or week six in CWL, we got GG. Uh, so this is a preview of, uh, of that. This should be a good one. It's a fairly even matchup. They do have a handful of point fives, and we do have an extra 11. It, it's kind of hard to tell with the amount of extra point fives they have. It's only a few, like nothing crazy. Um, you know, props, a lot of props. I will get some props to Golden Goblins. You know, you guys do seem like you're uh, more on the straight and, straight and narrow and uh, and want to help uh, help the CWL grow. And we are looking forward to matching you guys up and having battle day tonight and then uh, seeing you later down the road in the CWL. Anyways, uh, I'm going to call it an afternoon here, guys. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser to trying to help a bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.